welcome, 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 welcome to the last night on earth. To the last night on earth with Sasha. Hands up, I got my eyes fixed now. You're tuned into Sasha presents Last Night on Earth. Last Night on Earth. Hi there and welcome to The Last Night on Earth with me, Sasha. Back with an exclusive mix from one of my recent sets. It's been a hectic month. I had a great week in Miami with parties at Get Lost, Ultra and of course my annual boat party. I was joined there by Henry Size and Fur Coat and I'll be speaking to both of those later on in the show. You're listening, You're listening to Sasha. I was also in London for an interview with Bill Brewster at the Sonos Studios talking about my new album for Late Night Tales, Scene Delete. If you want to hear that, then you can check it out on Mixcloud or through my Facebook page. I also had a couple of great shows in Hungary and Greece, and I'm now back in the US where I played at Output in New York, and I'm getting ready for my Coachella appearance this year. Later on in the show, I'll give you details of my back-to-back set I'll be doing with John Digweed and, of course, update you on the latest releases on the label. But first, let's get into the music, and here is a set from the end of March where I headed to Dublin, Ireland for the Easter Sunday party at the Button Factory. It's always great to return to Dublin, one of my favourite places to play. I know the club scene there has gone through a rough time over the last few years, but it really does seem to have picked back up and is in a really strong shape right now. So here it is me, Sasha, recorded live from the Button Factory in Dublin, here on The Last Night on Earth. Welcome, 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 welcome to The Last Night on Earth with Sasha.
Sasha presents Last Night on Earth
It's Sasha and you're listening to The Last Night on Earth. And in March, I had my annual boat party in Miami and was joined on the boat by Furco and this man, Henry Size. Hi, I'm here in Miami with my good friend, Henry Size. We're on the boat. The sun is shining. Not really as much wrong with today, is there? <laughs> yeah, indeed. How are you? Very good, mate. Very good. So uh, how's Miami for you so far, mate? Amazing. As, as every year, I just got here yesterday. I went to your party. It was great. Very, very nice, intimate vibe. So happy to be here with you on the boat this year. Yeah, it's great to have you on here, mate. I think your music fits this boat very, very well. You know, it's every year we talk about the guest DJs that we want to have, and I always like to try and have somebody who's attached to the label come and play with us. I can't think of anyone on the label that's more, their sound is more perfect for being outside in the sunshine. What is it that kind of inspires you to make such kind of warm, I mean, it's like sunshine music. <laughs> that's amazing to hear that, especially coming from you. To, to be honest, the place I, I like the, the most is like playing on boat parties and because I, I love the outdoors feeling and, you know, to be like this communion with the water and the, and the, sun, and the sunset. The vibes are, are more like, I don't know, more healthy somehow. Than the club. I love playing clubs, but both parties are, are, the, are the best for, for me. I feel very inspired by the, by the whole landscape thing and the whole adventure, you know, going with people. It's the same, same when we play outdoors in Ibiza, right? It's, it's so nice to be playing on the beach or, you know, maybe in BPM at, in the forest or something. There's something nice being out, outdoors, especially, I, I think, that what makes this party so special is a lot of the people here have just been through a bad winter in Europe or in, in New York or whatever so this is kind of their first proper taste of the summer which is great your party that you do during the summertime you just did this last summer which I didn't manage to get to come and play but that's an outdoor party as well right tell me about that yeah, it's called Oasis and it's, it's a party in this club called Varela in Alicante which is not a city like well known for electronic music but we are I think we're building up something good with this with this club the, the club is very nice we have like three pools, a restaurant, it's surrounded by water, so the, the vibes are like very Ibiza, very summery. So let's talk about actually the music you've got coming out. You've got some stuff coming out on your own label and some remixes as well. You want to tell me what you've been up to? Sure, yeah. I just released a single on Suara, which is, is doing pretty well. We're, I think we're number one now, electronic on Beatport. And I released uh, Secrets, this, this track on my label, Natural Sonoris. Yeah, I have a few remixes coming out. One from Jeremy Olander, and I'm working in like new singles and new and new stuff to release, and hopefully something new for Last Night on, on, on Earth too. Of course, we want some new music for Last Night on Earth. And tell me about your uh, radio show that you're doing, because that sounds really interesting. What's the inspiration behind the, your your radio show, your podcast? Well, I've, I've been a fan of, of the radio as a as a format, as a concept, like since I was a kid. So when I got this request from from Radio Three, which is like the it's like our BBC, let's okay. say, like. I, I was like, I don't have time to do it, but I, I, ha I have to do it. It's like my inner child is like, you have to do this. It's like a dream what's, come true. What's the name of the show? It's called El Laberinto, The Labyrinth. And it's like the Spanish version of my podcast, which is The Labyrinth. Okay. I've been doing that for the last seven years, something like that. And it's, every show is like a concept. So um, it has this kind of old radio vibe, which, which I really like. Like me talking very close to the mic and like talking about feelings and music and how you use music to fill up your life sure. and to be the like, like the soundtrack of your of your life and your feelings uh, so yeah it's conceptual so every program is every show is like about a different thing like hey that sounds really interesting so you can uh, you can download the podcast as well right yeah. with itunes okay great i think the engines are starting on the boat now we're getting ready to leave so excuse the noise tell me about the kickstarter project you have a new, a new album and a kickstarter project tell me about that thanks for asking because this is gonna need a lot of promotion because you know all the success of a kickstarter campaign it really depends on on the whole exposure you get on media and, and everything so everything counts so it's, it's great yeah my last crazy idea because I, I can do something like normal i have to push myself to the limit always so this time i'm gonna do um an album which is the main concept is every track is going to be done in, in a different part of the world that inspires me and where I can take like really special sounds and samples. For example, we want to record a track inside the Great Pyramid. We want to record one track in in uh, Joshua Tree in California. And it's not only about getting the, the sounds from the place and it's not going to sound ethnic at all. It's more about trying to be uh, like a channel between 
the ideas and the, the essence of the of the place through and make music uh, inspiration to the to the music it is so it's really hard to explain i guess that sounds expensive but it also sounds fascinating i guess there's a lot you can do with things like sampling spaces with convolution reverbs and things like that are available for people to do now sampling the noise in a space and treating it and being able to put that actually onto your record is, is a very doable thing now with, with a lot of the plugins talking of plugins tell me about some of your favorite studio bits of equipment tell me about what's your favorite synth i remember last time we were talking you mentioned an old digital synth that you really really liked tell us about something else that you really like to use in the studio lately i've been i've been getting all the new roland boutique okay. uh, yeah which they things. are they are amazing yeah. they are and actually for this album project it's, it's perfect because you can put some batteries on them and just sure. go whenever you want and just make music on the road which is pretty cool what else are you looking forward to this summer, Henry? Well, when uh, gigs-wise, I'm really looking forward to Glastonbury because we are we are playing there Amazing. with the with the live band for the first time, and it's such an iconic place. So I, oh, I love Glastonbury. I'm very, I'm very excited. Yeah, I know. And I think not many Spaniards have been playing there. Like, oh, that's great that you're doing that. You'll have a great time. You're going to stay there. You're going to uh, you kind of get settled there, or you got a load of other gigs around it, or you're going to actually uh, have a weekend there. I actually cancelled one gig, so I could stay there longer. Yeah, it's really worth experiencing it. You know, I've stayed there in lots of different scenarios, from staying in a hotel there, to staying in a tent a long time ago, <laughs> staying in a posh farm, TP sort of situation. Yeah, it's it's really fun. It's really fun. For some advices, because it's my, it's my first. Time. Time, so I really want to... Maybe call me the week before and I'll give you some advice. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> okay, Henry, thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to hearing you play today and I uh, can't wait to hear some of this new music. Thank you so much. My, my pleasure to be here. Thank you. You're tuned into Sasha.
to Last Night on Earth with me, Sasha, recorded live from the Button Factory in Dublin back in March. So the big news this month is the return of Sasha and Digweed for a set at the Social Festival in the UK in September. I joined John for an unannounced back-to-back set at the Ministry of Sound in London during his bedrock party, and the reaction to that set was pretty incredible that we had online. We've been talking about playing together again recently and we wanted to play together in an environment without any pressure on us. So I snuck in the back door of the club about three o'clock in the morning and got onto the decks without many people realizing what was actually happening. And it was great to play with John again. It felt very seamless. So that's a party I'm really looking forward to already. Last year's social was a fantastic event, great production, perfect size festival for this kind of music. Nick Fanciulli and his team have done a great job down there curating a really, really great boutique festival. So I'm recording this ahead of Coachella Weekenders. It's always an amazing party, an amazing festival. I'm really happy to be back there again. 
I've also added a few dates to my Facebook page, so check there for when I'm in a town near you soon. I want to mention a couple of key parties I've already put into the diary. I've announced a couple of dates in Ibiza already at Space. I'll be playing the Loveland Festival in Amsterdam again. Creamfields and SW4 are already in the diary. I have a date locked down at Fabric as well in London at the end of May. Plus, keep an eye on my Facebook page as there will be some news in there about Sonar in Barcelona this year. Let's get back to the mix recorded live from the Button Factory in Dublin here on The Last Night on Earth.
Sasha and you're listening to The Last Night on Earth. Okay, I'm here on the boat and I'm talking to the wonderful Fur Coat DJs. How are you? Great, man. So happy to be here. Uh, well, it's awesome to be in your party and, well, we've been, like, uh, followers from you, like, many years ago and now we're playing with you, so we couldn't ask for more, you know? It was great to have you here. You played a fantastic set. Did you play some of your new tracks? Yeah, we have a lot of new tracks. Uh, we played some of the remixes we did past years, a couple of unreleased things, and yeah, new tracks we've received from several friends and DJs, you know. How's your Miami been so far then? What else are you actually doing here? Are you doing some other parties, or is this is this it, or what, what are you up to? Uh, well, we're playing several times in Miami. We got like four or five gigs. Yeah, five gigs. Yeah. Uh, we played we first play. at Treehouse. Yeah, we played we play Treehouse. Treehouse. Yeah, yeah Treehouse yeah, is amazing. Yeah, it was it was a great party. And we got like three more to go. Yeah, like El Row tomorrow and obviously get lost. And I'll get see lost. I get lost. Yeah. 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 I'm opening. I'm playing five to seven in the morning. So. Ah, good time. <laughs> great. And what releases have you got coming up then? We have only right now uh, Proston Rebels, Proston Rebels. Okay. Yeah, uh, for this year and we're waiting because uh, we did a couple of new tracks and we're seeing what's going to happen and yeah, after that. You're just touring a lot at the moment. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, great. It's always, it's always fun to talk. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, listen, thank you so much for coming and playing oh, with you. me. The music was amazing and uh, it was great to see you. Thank I'll you, man. Get lost. Thank you. For sure. sure. You're listening. You're listening.
Thanks for checking in this month. That was my set from the Button Factory in Dublin at the end of March. Don't forget to check out my album on Late Night Tales. It's called Scene Delete and it's out now. You can hear the interview that I did with Bill Brewster through my Facebook page or on Mixcloud. While you're there, you'll be able to see where I'm playing over the next couple of months. There'll be details on there, including my back-to-back set with John Digweed in September at the Social Festival. There will also be an announcement about Sonar and Barcelona coming over the next few weeks. The new releases on the label are from Hobo with the Peekaboo EP that's out now. And following that, we've got a great EP from Alex Nigman, who's back releasing on Last Night on Earth. Head to lastnightonearth.com for all the release information. Thanks for listening to the show. I'll be back next month with another mix. Till then, from me, Sasha, see you later. Get in touch at facebook.com forward slash Sasha official or last night on earth music.